The derivatives debate gets underway in Congress. Morgan Stanley says Barney Frank's latest proposal on derivatives regulation is a, quote, significant improvement. Where does Goldman Sachs stand, though? And more importantly, though, where do we draw the line between safeguarding the financial system and leaving in place mechanisms to hedge risk and, of course, profit if you're a counterparty? For answers, we turn to Arthur Levitt, former chairman of the SEC, an advisor to Goldman Sachs and a board member here at Bloomberg. Arthur, where do we draw the line? Well, I think the line has to be one in terms of balance. We can't choke this business, which really is a useful tool for risk management, nor can we leave it as open as it was before, where massive amounts of liabilities grew up that eventually nearly brought the system to its knees. I think we've seen Barney Frank take a very draconian recommendation from the Obama administration and it tone it down quite a bit. But Arthur, when you hear Morgan Stanley call it a significant improvement, you know what everybody out there is thinking. They're like, oh, they're pandering to Wall Street. Again, if it's good for Morgan Stanley, it can't be good for everybody else, can it? Well, I think that's generally the view in this populist environment. But yes, of course it can be, if it makes sense. Now, uh, this is preliminary. It's going to change a great deal. We're going to get greater transparency. It's too facile to say merely put everything on in a clearinghouse and put it uh, on an exchange. That's largely impractical. I think clearly the firms such as Morgan and Goldman are more comfortable with the Frank version than they were with the Obama version. Where it winds up, my best guess is the CFTC and SEC will have a hand in finalizing whatever rules we have. Another issue, obviously, for, for Wall Street, Arthur, we've been talking about are the pay targets, what Ken Feinberg has proposed. What do you think his propositions could do to CEO pay? Not much. I think that uh, the very fact that he is the pay czar, smart guy, tough, talking to all these companies, he will persuade them to see to it that pay does not become a major embarrassment at financial institutions. And he will do it by persuasion rather than with a hammer. I think he is the best possible person for that job, and I think he'll do it well and reasonably. Now, does it translate to other sectors of the economy? That's up to Compensation Committee at other corporations. How will they respond? I hope responsively. Okay. Arthur, thank you as always. Bloomberg board member, advisor to Goldman Sachs, former chairman of the SEC, Arthur Levitt, here with us every week.